In this video, I want to go through the solution for problem 17, but from the standpoint of those of you that are utilizing a Mac platform, an iOS, it's a little more cumbersome. Can't really get a nice graph as we can in, in a PC platform, uh, but we get the answer. And that's pretty much all what we want to do is focus in on what the optimal solution is and either from the standpoint of maximizing profits or minimizing expenditures. So I just want to take you through, as I indicated, uh, the solution dealing with a, with a Mac. Uh, uh, what we want to do is we're in Excel and over here QM menu, uh, QM menu, doesn't make any difference uh, what we use. I'm just coming down here, linear programming, and we get this drop down menu, and it says enter the number of constraints. So for this particular problem, we do have two constraints, and that would be labor and lumber. And it asks us for the number of variables. Well, we have two variables, and that would be benches and tables. And yes, the objective function is to maximize profits. So we can just go over here, and we get the drop down. And it's asking us, uh, well, x1, I like to just go ahead and name my variables, bench, tables, constraint, uh, have two constraints as indicated, labor and lumber uh, to maximize. Um, we are told that for each bench to sold, we have net profits of nine dollars for each table. Net profits are twenty. Labor it takes four man hours for a bench, six man hours for a table, and we are allocating twelve hundred man hours, say for this production week, whatever it may be. Lumber, uh, ten board feet for the bench and 35 board feet for the table and we have 3500 total of board feet okay so we have identified our objective function our constraints quantified those and it, it just come up here and put in the solver and when we do we can see that the optimal solution, which will maximize our profits, is to produce, we'll say, 262 benches, 25 tables, and we will make $2,862.50. So the main thing is, is that when you're using the Mac platform, uh, to make sure that you have that solver, the solver added to uh, the Excel spreadsheet. 